Hi, today's video is about mystery Halloween fears and phobias. And as usual, after watching this video, in the description you can find uh, several quizzes to practice the vocabulary. On October the 31st, a lot of people in the world celebrate Halloween. On this day, children dress up in scary costumes of vampires, monsters, ghosts, skeletons, witches and devils and go from house to house, asking for treats such as candy or sometimes money with the question trick or treat. The word trick in this case means a threat to perform mischief on the homeowners or their property if no treat is given. Traditionally, this celebration is associated with something frightening and supernatural, but the true origin of it remains unknown. According to some theories, it might date back to ancient pagan feasts, probably of Celtic origin, dedicated to gods of fruit and seeds, or as the Festival of the Dead, which later was influenced by Christianity. Halloween activities include trick-or-treating, also known as guising, because children are disguised in costumes or souling. A soul is the name of cake they get as a treat. Attending Halloween costume parties, carving pumpkins into jack-o'-lanterns, lighting bonfires, apple bobbing, which is a game when players intend to get apples from a bucket filled with water with their teeth, divination games or fortune-telling, playing pranks, visiting haunted attractions, places where ghosts are said to appear, telling scary stories as well as watching horror films. So, do you celebrate Halloween in the place where you live? Which activities do you do? No doubt the best entertainment on this day, or I'd rather say on this night, is to be scared to death, which means to be very much frightened. Let's take a look at some vocabulary that is associated with fear. What is the definition of the word fear? According to Oxford Dictionary, it is an unpleasant emotion caused by the threat of danger, pain or harm, and it has a lot of synonyms depending on how intense a fear is. A slight fear is a worry. Next comes anxiety, which can be more severe uh, than just a worry. Another synonym of fear is the word fright. Extreme fear is expressed by the words terror, dread, horror or panic. Adjectives are very often used to talk about one's fearful state. So a person can be afraid of something, for example, I'm afraid of the dark, frightened of or by something, though the meaning is slightly different. I'm frightened of spiders means that a person has a general fear of spiders, whereas I was frightened by a spider refers to a specific situation, a particular experience. In the same manner, we can define the phrases scared of and scared by. I'm scared of spiders, I was scared by a spider. We can say we're worried about something, for example, I'm worried about the results of my exam paper. When a person is anxious, it means that the person feels very uneasy about something, especially when the outcome is very uncertain. For example, she was anxious about her performance in math class. A phobia is an extreme or irrational fear of something. There are a lot of different phobias, for example, a fear of flying is called aerophobia. A fear of heights is acrophobia. A fear of the dark is nyctophobia or aclophobia. A fear of spiders is arachnophobia. But some phobias are really peculiar. A fear of numbers is arithmophobia. A fear of snow is kinophobia. And a fear of trees is dendrophobia. Personally, I have a phobia about bridges that is called jefferophobia. Do you have any phobias? You can share it in the comments. Finally, here are some useful phrases to talk about fear. When someone is terrified or scared very much, you can say scared stiff. After hearing those strange sounds, I was scared stiff. Scared out of one's wits. I was scared out of my wits of failing the exam. Shake like a leaf. Before getting on the horse, she was shaking like a leaf. Something scary can make your blood run cold or give you heebie-jeebies. For example, the thought of getting to the dark basement alone made her blood run cold. That eerie music gave me heebie-jeebies. This is all for today. Please write your comments and give me a like if you found this video useful. And if you're watching this video on October the 31st, Happy Halloween!